Hello, my name's Barnaby Wright, and I'm the curator of our latest exhibition here at the Courtauld, Edvard Munch, Masterpieces from Bergen. I'd like to take you on a tour of the exhibition through 18 of Munch's greatest paintings. One of the great strengths of this collection is that it contains some of the major examples of Munch's early work pictures that he made in his 20s during the 1880s and early 1890s when he was a rising star of modern painting in Norway. At least he was for those writers and artists that admired him and his work, but for many conservative critics, the paintings that he produced during that period were rather shocking and met with hostile criticism. They show Munch really exploring the styles of French Impressionism and post-Impressionism that he admired and drew inspiration from. But they also show him finding his own artistic voice, really crystallising as the artist that he would become. In the 1890s, Edvard Munch really started to find his own distinctive artistic voice. This is the style of painting that I think we most associate with Munch's work. Moody, brooding colours, simplified and expressive forms, and paintings that deal with some of the great uh, themes of human emotion, from love and desire through to anxiety and death. He addressed those subjects through a series of major paintings which he would gather together in exhibitions under the broad title, The Freeze of Life. And he saw these pictures as unfolding the human condition and human experience as one long freeze. We're particularly fortunate in this collection from Bergen to have amongst the works major examples from The Freeze of Life. Paintings such as Melancholy, Woman in Three Stages, At the Deathbed, an evening on Carl Johann were all part of that famous series of works, and they hung together with Munch's famous painting, The Scream, in exhibitions that he mounted during his lifetime. Although Munch is undoubtedly best known for his paintings of the 1890s, I think the paintings he made in the early 20th century are equally impressive, although they are radically different. From about 1902 and 1903, he started to change his style dramatically. Gone are the dark and brooding colours of his earlier work, and in come a much brighter palette and a very expressive way of painting with great sort of immediacy, pictures that feel of the moment. We're very fortunate that this collection from Bergen contains major examples of these paintings. So we get this opportunity in the exhibition to see all stages of Munch's development as an artist, from his early years right through to the new paintings of the new century that mark the culmination of his work in this show.